can I have a card? And the lady in front of us says, I want one too. I tell you both of these stories because they both involve something called psychology. And psychology is really, really important in our society. Psychology is extremely important if you're getting ready to be a leader of an organization, if you are a leader of an organization, if you're becoming president of a Rotary Club, you need to know psychology. I'm going to talk about psychology quite a bit. If you have a pen, I encourage you to get it out. I'm going to teach you some things that will help you lead your club to a fantastic year. And, uh, and I think that you'll really enjoy it. Some time ago, a few months ago now, a guy named Richard Thaler, anybody know the name Richard Thaler, won the Nobel Prize for Economics with a very simple premise. You know, most of us wouldn't understand why somebody gets the Nobel Prize award, especially in economics, but you'll understand this one because it's so simple. Thaler had an interesting idea. Thaler said, hey, everybody. That's not how they talk to each other in academia, but he said, hey, everybody. Uh, here's my idea. Most of our economic models are predicated on people being rational. <laughs> and he said, we got to stop doing that because people aren't rational. We do stuff all the time. It doesn't make any sense. And if, and if, and if you're using you know, rationality as a metric or as a baseline for economic behavior, you're making a big mistake. They gave him a Nobel Prize for it. And I mention this because the people you'll be leading in your clubs next year are not rational people. <laughs> in fact, uh, if they're like most people, they're, they're afflicted, they're, they're affected by uh, some things called cognitive bias. Uh, I had some fun before I left. I have fun in unusual ways. This was the highlight of my week before I left. I Googled cognitive biases. And I came up with a huge list of over a hundred things that impact us psychologically as we go about our lives. And I just want to highlight four of them for you today because these four will show up in your rotary life over and over and you'll see them this weekend, right? Four cognitive biases that you should know more about. The first two are easy. The first one, and you actually are self-explanatory. The first one is called optimism bias. Can you guess what that is? Optimism bias is when you believe that things are going to work out. No matter how badly things are going for you right now, you believe things are going to work out. You believe this so firmly that you actually don't think you have to try anymore because it's a fait accompli that your year as president is going to be great. You're delusional. <laughs> <laughs> things never work out great, especially with personalities, right? I teach uh, sales, I teach presentation skills, and so I work a lot with uh, leadership teams and, and, uh, and sales teams, and that's kind of why I've been on the road this week. I, uh, I, I keynoted a very similar event like this for Mid-South Pets. It's 12 years in a row that they've had me speak, minus my district governor here. And it was in Chattanooga earlier this week. Uh, then I flew to San Diego, where I spoke to a financial services company, and we did sales training for them. Then I went to Florence, South Carolina, and spoke to a food manufacturer. It was a leadership talk. And we talked about psychology at all of these stops, because psychology is so important. If there's a thing called optimism bias, you can bet there's a thing called Negative. pessimism bias. Pessimism bias works like this. You are so sure that your club's going into the bucket that you decide there's nothing you can do about it. You're delusional too. Optimism bias, pessimism bias. The third one's even more interesting.